Hey guys and welcome, my name is Darren and today we're going to continue our weekly episode. So every Wednesday a new episode comes out, I think like Wednesday morning or late Wednesday, I forgot. Gotta get rid of these PvP quests. And we can do another bingo buffing quest and see if it's worth it. If you don't know where to find him, you can always go to Market Bell and talk to Bird, Bubble, Bee, whatever. And <clears throat> you can always check if there's new new items. Yeah, let's get that bunny so people can see if that bunny is any good. In case you're interested. There we go. Woohoo, we have a new skill. I remember those are under. Oh my god, where are they under? Character... Then there's K, right? Yeah, mounts. No. Fellowship, passive. Oh my god, why are they under? Active skills, right? It should be an active skill. I know we don't do the all cosmetic pet stuff. How are they? Cosmetic pets. Brown rabbit. There you go. We got Daisy. Daisy, any cute? Come on, Daisy. Be good, Benny. There you go. That's a brown rabbit. Make a good stew. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, you can talk to him, and he will tell you where can I find Bingo Buffin this week, and he says, oh, out of his hole. So that's where we're gonna go. See what he got for us uh, today. <clears throat> go for this nice bounder garden. And here he is. So you decide he wants to go to an adventure. adventure if I'm to have success. I can hardly wait to begin my journey, but I know there's much to be done before I depart. I need to train. If I'm to have success on the road. I will need knowledge and supplies and physical strength and and and. There's one more thing that, that I will need, but let us not speak of that now. Then why do you tell me? There's enough to do to get ready without beginning with that most perilous of tasks. Probably, uh, you know, take care of his garden or something. But first, knowledge. You know, old Gaffer Gamgee up, up hopping way was the gardener for Bilbo Baggins for many years, and it could be that he was a privy to old Bilbo's secrets. He might have given the Gaffer some adventuring advice. Make your way to Backshot Row in Hobbiton and see if the Gaffer has any sound advice for a Hobbit starting out on a journey. So we get five more badges, and we get uh, we can choose between the prepared or the unprepared. All right, uh, Hobbit. Best way you can take the horse if you want to ride back down there and go up, or you can just you know ride there. It's not that far. It'll probably be faster if we do take our war steed. War steeds are faster than normal horses. Especially if it's a light one. But we can't use our skills outside of uh, the new areas. So you can't use your spin, for example. You jump over all those little walls and hedges. Hey, look at those hobbits building stuff everywhere. Horrible, isn't it? A little lag there. It's always a problem with the war steed. Oh, come on. How do you break from that? There. And then, once you break, it takes away your speed for some reason. Alright. Hobbiton is the 
in the mill on the water side. We have back end up there. And our Mr. Gamshi. Is that Sam's dad? I think it's Sam's dad. Training for the journey. What's that? You say Bingo Boffin wants to go on an adventure? He had thought the Delving Field Boffins were respectable sorts. You tell young Bilbo the only advice I have for hobbits thinking of leaving the Shire is this. Don't. Not but trouble ever came of a journey. Mr. Bilbo was a well spoken was as well spoken a hobbit as you could hope to meet, but I'm afraid he mixed up with some downright odd folk abroad. Poor fellow. I have no further advice for Mr. Boffin, but I do know that he'll be wanting for foodstuff on his journey. If you run up to the apple doors on the side of the hill, pick up some fallen apples. Now, if you ever done the Shire quest, you will notice this is a quest for the Shire. Because if you just run in the Shire, there is actually a quest to collect apples. So, so this is totally recycled. I don't know about that. A little lazy. Just gave it some new text, and you know, this was all are all already in place, and then just have to collect apples again. All right. We are gonna deal with it. Too far away. Alright, we're gonna return to Gaffer Gamgee. Man, I wish I had an apple orchard. Team, so those trees seem a little far apart. I mean, I'm not an expert. Seem like you could put those uh, together closer. Alright. I don't mind telling you that when the apples run out, I hope he turns around and heads home. The wild is no place for a hobbit. Oh my god, there's a lot of hobbits out there, dude. Hobbits killed the Balrog. Defeated uh, Saruman. There's a lot of hobbits out there. Alright. Make it over the bridge. Oh my god. Okay, we didn't dismount. That's the important part. So now we have to go back. <clears throat> With some amazing apples. Six apples. Apples are good food for hiking, but six, six apples. I think I'll ask you like, like three days. I don't know. I guess we have a little lag going on here. Yep, there's a lot of riding around again. That seems to be the uh, theme of this uh, episode of content so far. Let's see what we have to do next. Alright, there he is. Okay, I, I want to get rid of that stupid bunny. There you go. The gaffer gave you some supplies. How thoughtful. Uh, oh, wait. Apples? <laughs> he sounds disappointed. So what's that? The gaffer gave you some supplies for my journey? That is very thoughtful of him. I must be certain to write a note of thanks. He is truly a gentle... Apples? Oh my, I cannot stand apples. I am sure those are fine specimens, but I simply cannot abide the wormy things. Hey, extra protein. I will not take even the smallest bite. Oh my god, you want to go on a journey? Bring that basket into the bird and baby inn and leave it by the counter, uh, if you would. My friend, someone will eat those apples, <laughs> but someone will not be me. 
All right, all right, all right. Get you. You're gonna fail on your quest. I can tell you that. <clears throat> so the burden baby in is right here. That reduced awareness. Awesome. With this uh, really weird. That, that that's scary. So baby, no, no, he doesn't look happy. Are anyway, you gonna go in? We barely fit in. So this is a really weird pub, anyway. And there's not too many tables. Anyway, we leave those apples here. There already are some. What are you gonna say to that? Uh oh. You there, what do you think you're leaving those apples there? Who do you think you are leaving those apples there? Sorry. Are they for anyone to take? Where did they come from? Oh my god, you nosy. Bingo Boffin? Whose birthday was it? And wouldn't his friends uh, know he doesn't like the things? What's that? They were a gift from old Ham Ganji? A going away gift? That was it? Something else? Alright, alright, alright. Nothing special there. Du -du -du. Nothing to be done. If Esmeralda knows, a whole Shire will know. Uh oh. You're back in without the apples. Lovely. I'm certain some will enjoy them. Meanwhile, I bought some supplies from a Petunia Greenhand and should have enough food to last for a good while. But why the long face? Well, there's nothing to be done, I suppose. If Esmeralda knows, all of my cadaveling will know by tomorrow. And the rest of the Shire will be buzzing by the next week. It can't be helped. The next area in which I must train in physical strength, and I know just how to do it. I will climb the stock tower. Meet me at the base of the tower south of the town of stock. And we can climb the stock tower together. Alright. So now descending us from here to here. In the other side of the map. Hey. And I don't think there's a quick travel over there. Let's check that out real quick. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive that there's no quick travel. No, wait, you're the wrong guy anyway. Got dead. Uh, West Breed, the uh, Edmores. Yeah, we, we can't even go there. The festival halls will take us up here and down there. I want to have either. Nope. Yep, that's just fastest. If you have a mounted uh, a war steed, go on your war steed. If you don't, take your normal steed and ride over there. It's not that that far, but yeah. At least we're getting out of the Shire, or starting to get at the border to uh, Breland. <coughs> I'm gonna assume that he will go into the old forest at some point. Just makes sense. Probably meet Tom Bombadil. So that, that, that's the interesting part, um, really that he will probably, you know, go to all the no worthy characters that some people might miss if they just, you know, run through the game and try to level to 100 as fast as possible. You know, they won't go to, to the, at least I wouldn't rec recommend going to the old forest, so you might miss Tom Bombadil and stuff. Which then you can meet again with this episode of content. But other than that, so far, if you're a seasoned player and you, you know, experience everything already, I mean, you can decide to do this, or you can skip it. You won't miss anything. It's two episodes in. Look at that rainbow. That's a big rainbow, wow. 
don't think I've ever seen that. Well, at least I have never noticed it. Is that all been there? Oh. Those are hobbits. There's a stone, and it just built a bench around and make it a park or something. Crazy hobbits. Is that a rainbow behind us too? No, it's in front of us. No! Oh, yeah, that, that's why you shouldn't look behind you while you ride. I. How long did we break? Six seconds. Not that bad. Almost there. Almost there. Yep, so basically we went for the whole Shire. Not sure why there's some elven runes. I think those are elven runes in the Shire. But then again, I really, I didn't go too deep into like ancient uh, history for Lord of Rings or Middle Earth, I guess. I'm sure it has a purpose. Man, this is probably from the Dunderlings when they had those big empires here. The Rangers. Alright, we have Stock Tower up here. And they did add those little posts so you can actually get up now. It's a jumping game, it's not too difficult. And you gotta talk to him. It's a bad idea. I say, who knew this tower was uh, so tall? I'm not going to go any higher. I know better, a better way. Meet me in the Golden Perch. It's back in the town of Stock. All right. Uh, do you want a drink? Can I go any higher? What's that as high as we can go? Look, okay, that's as high as we can go. We got. Looks like it ends in the old forest. We have Buckland over there. We've got the ferry. Over here, where Frodo and the rest uh, go over when the uh, Black Riders are chasing them, and the bridge is over there. So that's always nice finding like those little things that are in the books. The Buckland Ferry. Fortunately, we can't use it. It would be nice if they would put in like a boat or something, a ferry thing. Oh my god, did a brick from that too? Bye. Should make this a new video and just see how often we can break. Riding in the Shire. I think the Golden Perch is mentioned in the books as well, right? Doesn't like Pippin wanna stop there for the beer? Look, there he is. He's, he's quite fast, if he wants to be. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure it's a good way to... <laughs> to... <laughs> Train your muscles by lifting them up. Okay, I already feel much more prepared for my journey. Mm -hmm. So we have gotten a little advice about adventuring. I purchased some of the supplies I will need. <laughs> you got advice, you said, he said don't do it. And I have done a little exercise to get in shape for the journey. There's just one more area in which I need to train. But we will get to that in a little while. Next week, uh, sink or swim? I guess we have to swim a little bit in a brandy wine. Alright, so we got five more badges and we can now choose between the prepared or the unprepared. Well, we are unprepared, but I'm gonna choose the prepared. There you go. New title. You consider yourself well prepared for what lies ahead. Absolutely. Alright, this is uh, it for this week's uh, weekly episodic content. Again, not very exciting so far. We'll we see what will come next. It's called uh, Swim, so we probably have to you know, cross the Brandywine or something. We, but
But yeah, I'm hoping that uh, eventually we get into the old forest. Meet Tom Bombadil, probably go into Bear Downs. Like, go like this, something. And reach Bree. After that, not sure where he will go. If he will go up, or if he go to the Lonelands, by the top. We'll see, we'll see. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, content so far. I mean, it's not mind-boggling, but... Well, maybe some people enjoyed. See you guys next time.